Hello everyone, welcome to the February 4th edition of Fintech News. I'm your host, Nicholas Beliveau. Today we are featuring mostly Canadian, only Canadian startups in today's episode. We're going to start by speaking about the new cohort for our Ascension program and the 15 startups that have been accepted into it. Lexop, which is a Montreal startup and raises 1.8 million. And lastly, GoPeer, a startup of Toronto, which is now approved by the AMF and the OSC. So we'll kick it off with the 15 startups and I'll just explain a bit uh, about what the Ascension program is and then the 15 startups that are now in it. So Ascension is an incubation program for early stage fintech startups and uh, after receiving over 31 applications, exactly 31 applications, we've selected 15. They'll now participate in a three month program to help them reach their next milestones. So we have some in various verticals within fintech. We have payments, personal finance management, loans, real estate, insurance, 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 um, alternative investment, and more insurance. So it's um, a very diverse cohort. What's really cool about this cohort is that it's throughout Canada. We have seven companies from Quebec, six from Ontario, one from Alberta, and one from BC. And I'll run you through some of them. Um, we have Leave, which is a payment platform for restaurants to make it easier and less friction to pay at a restaurant. Uh, Think Twice, which is in personal finance management to help consumers make it easier to make uh, financial decisions. Lenders API, uh, which is an underwriting platform for alternative lending. Um, really a, a, a nice, diverse group. Um, buy properly an online marketplace for fractional investments in real estate uh, pay page which makes it really easy to create payments online um, I, I could keep going Emma for for a life insurance a marketplace um, which, which is actually they announced yesterday has the best rates in Canada so we'll be really covering these startups uh, over the next three months and we'll be sharing very soon a profile that you'll be able to see on our website to really learn more about these 15 companies and the progress they'll experience throughout the program. Next up, uh, Lexop, which raises 1.8 million. So they're based here in Montreal. Uh, they remove friction for collections. So they're an enterprise software to collect past due payments. Um, they're really automating that outreach process for large enterprises that could have thousands, tens of thousands of overdue balances from their customers. And by automating the outreach process and simplifying the way their customers can pay the overdue balance, um, they're able to recover a lot of the funds. So they received this funding from a mix from Ange Quebec and a Canadian financial institution that was undisclosed. And uh, really by offering these multiple ways of settling their um, their account payable, um, that they're able to recover a lot of those funds. And then lastly, we have GoPeer. So they were founded in 2019, last year, and they're now Canada's first peer-to-peer -peer lending platform. So there's already been some lending platforms in the small business space. There's one called Lending Loop, which was founded in 2015. But peer-to-peer -peer lending has been a difficult battle, namely because of regulation. So now um, GoPeer has just been approved by the Ontario Securities Committee as well as the Autorité des Marchés Financiers here in Quebec, which en now enables them to operate in both of these provinces. And their argument for their platform is that it enables lenders to have access to lower rates uh, by bypassing all the middlemen. And for lenders, um, as an alternative investment uh, opportunity to be able to help out fellow peers in uh, either helping them consolidate debt or make an important purchase. So some very interesting news and some interesting a v interesting variety of startups that we, we have to showcase for you this week. Uh, nothing too much on the international scale, but everything here at home in Canada. So thank you for tuning in to this episode of Fintech News. I hope I'll have my colleague back next year to be two people bringing you the, the Fintech News. So make sure you tune in again next Tuesday at 3.30 p.m. for another episode. Thanks so much and have a great week.